Anime images are something we all love. And, well, we all love high quality anime images. So, we're always looking for a way to get the most highest quality anime image there is. But sometimes, it's just not possible. And that's where these cool upscalers come in. Now, there are a lot of upscalers, a lot of web-based upscalers, and I know that. I've made videos about them before. But a software-based upscaler is always gonna be faster and better. And today, I'm gonna be showing you a way to upscale anime images to up to 10K. And it is absolutely phenomenal. Now, anime images are really useful. They can be used for thumbnails like me, or for wallpapers, for editing, or pretty much anything. And it's always a good thing to get the most highest quality version of pretty much anything. Today, I'm gonna be talking about Video Prox Converter AI tool that will let you upscale your anime images to up to 10K for pretty much free. Now this video is sponsored by Videoprog, but everything I do and say in this video and the reason I accepted the sponsorship is because I trust and use the software myself a lot. I make a lot of my thumbnails with also the help of Videoprox AI Converter tool. The reason I'm making this video is because I trust them. So without waiting any more time, let's get into the video. Now here I will show you how to use Video Pro Converter AI tool and upscale your anime images to up to 10K resolution. Now we will be using the super resolution feature today to do that, but Video Pro of course offers other options like frame interpolation, video stabilization, video converter, DVD, recorder, and other cool features. But of course, today we're gonna be talking about the super resolution feature, so let's get into that. Now if you press the super resolution button, here is where you will be now this is very simple layout to use and you don't really have a lot of options you need to mess with it's pretty simple and straightforward all you need to do is press this button in the center and you just need to choose the image that you want to upscale or the video that you want to upscale so today we're going to be doing a image so let's go here and let's select a anime image so for me i'll be selecting this image and this is from an anime that i was watching Hokkaido girls. Now, first of all, this is the difference that you see right from the get-go and there is already a pretty big difference, but you can make it much better. Now, this is the preview window here where you can see the difference between the normal and the upscaled image. On the left side, it's the normal 1080p image. On the right is the upscaled 4K image. Now, if I press the button here, I can see the preview using a slider, which is, a, I think, a much better way to see the difference. Now, on the right side here, I can select the GPU where you should be selecting the most powerful GPU you have. And under that, here is a big difference. If you are upscaling anime, which I am right now, you need to drop down and press anime. This makes a big difference because it completely changes the model that's used for upscaling the anime model or the anime type if you select the anime type the anime model makes this upscale look much better than the realistic one because the realistic one takes into account a lot of different stuff that is not in an anime and the anime ones primarily focuses on the strokes and it looks much better now under that there is a denoise level button where you should be selecting low if you're doing anime because when anime has noise it's usually for artistic purposes now under that we have model settings now here it's pretty much 4x for most people if you want to do 2x fine but if you're gonna upscale an image just do it max rate now under that there's a enhanced video or image 1x now personally i don't care about it you can use it if you want to all i do is scale to 4x and that's it under that we got the image format option which has JPEG and PNG. Now recently they brought out an update that adds transparencies to PNG images. This is a big update because for someone like me who uses a lot of Photoshop and of course I make a lot of thumbnails for YouTube, this is a huge change. Now transparencies, a lot of the PNG images I find on the internet might not be of the highest quality and running it through an AI upscaler really does help to clear out and make the image better and more presentable. I also use a video prox AI tool a lot for thumbnail creation. So even a small change like transparencies is a huge difference. I do upscale a lot of anime images and I do take a lot of screenshots. So this is a lifesaver. But right now in this image that I'm using right here, 
there are no transparencies so i'm just gonna be using jpeg it doesn't matter i can use png i can use jpeg under that there is a image quality slider if you need a low file size maybe you can try messing with this i just need to be at 100 percent now under that we got browse and open folders if you press on browse you can select where you need your files to be saved and if you press open you can see where your files are currently saved if i go here on the left side there is a add media button so you can also do a batch upscale so if you need like five images upscaled simultaneously you can do that and it's pretty easy to do just select a couple of files that you need uh, for example i can select this and this and i can just add it all together and select four times if i need to be at four times and just run it all together right now i don't really need it so i'm just going to focus on this one image and even if i did not the process is super fast and super simple all i have to do is just press on the run button and it'll take maybe like five seconds at max even if you have like really bad gpu really bad cpu it shouldn't take more than 30 seconds it's that easy and that fast that's done this is how it looks and it looks really good it's really high quality it's really easy to do and if you're just looking for a anime image upscaler for thumbnails or for editing or for wallpaper or something anything doesn't matter this is a really good software that you can use right now If you're interested in VideoProx AI tool, you can try out these amazing AI features with a free full version license. I'll put the links down below or you can also scan the QR code on screen right now. Anyway, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found this video helpful. If you like this video, then don't forget to like down below, uh, comment the color of your underwear, um, and I'll see y'all later.